I'm going to start assembling the um, covered barge kit here. So I've got it all scrubbed and I've got it uh, cleaned up inside and out good. So I'm going to paint the hull and I'm going to use a uh, sandable primer uh, in black because that's the color I want the hull after I'm done. So I'm going to start with that as a primer and then uh, build up colors after that. And the ends get painted that same black and the uh, the center of the deck I'm going to paint uh, so it looks like a almost like a varnished hardwood uh, which seems to be what uh, the inside of the covered barges were so we'll put that aside and let it dry so again we've scrubbed all the parts and for the covered barge and I want the sides of it and the ends to be kind of a dark red um, and I think the top uh, a lot of the pictures I've seen are, a, are of a very light or white colored um, tar paper so we'll probably just brush paint that uh, afterwards so I'm just going to hit the sides and ends with some uh, red here and then I'm going to hand paint the inside to look like uh, again like varnished wood And this is a, a flat uh, paint. It is a satin American red. It's just a Rust-Oleum product. And a couple light coats. And that should be great. And we'll put this one aside. And we've got some more parts that need to be painted in that same color, at least some, some of the parts or some of the faces on them. So the tops of these, these are the roof hatches, and the tops of them will be painted that uh, white tar paper color, and then the faces need to be the red. And the same with these ladders, they'll get all, all painted red. And we'll turn these ladders over and paint the other side. And we'll give these another quick shot. And that should do those. So I decided to go ahead and paint the whole deck black since I'm going to have to go back in and do some different things anyways to make it what I want.
This way it'll have a, a uniform color to begin with. So that's just great. We can figure out the rest of that later. And I've got some doors that need to be painted red on the outside. I don't think I'm going to use them all, but I'm going to paint them all anyway since I'm here and painting stuff. Oops. And then I've got uh, some little detail parts uh, that I'm going to paint white. Those have white, um, white trim. And I've got some white uh, automotive primer here. That works nice. It's, it dries flat, so that gives us what we want there. If you can't find flat, you can always start with gloss paints and then uh, uh, spray on a spray on some um, flat like a clear uh, clear matte finish like that works just fine to dull them down there we go so that'll look good. Those will be a nice color for the trim. So that should be everything painted that we need to get painted. And then everything's going to get lightly weathered anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about all the finishes. Um, they'll all will all work out in the end. So this is a nice color. That looks very, very uniform. Very good. <laughs>